Pappies on the doll and who the fuck isn't. Welcome to the Prince Patrick Hotel for the final tea shop in 1992. I have one question right from the outset. Where the fuck have you been all year? We closed the doors before the show started. I'm angry. A bit wealthier than I was, but I'm bloody angry. Um, now look, I'm, my role here tonight is basically to tell you some rules. Uh, firstly, can we yes, look, there's a I, I have technology. Pop this, look at the monitor, look what I can do. Okay. So anyone who can't see, that's a way to do it. Well there's a bit of a tall light coming on for this, but I don't think we allowed for that when we set up the camera. Um, so, but we're going to have a problem basically, uh, this is a full room, it is a long show, <laughs> and uh, some of you people may have to sit down at some point in the front of you, so I don't know, we'll see how we go, but um, I think cohesive unit is a term we may use for you collectively as a group this evening, but be nice to each other, and it's getting warm already, isn't it? We'll see how we go. Uh, T-shirts, ladies and gentlemen. The fashion statement of 92 is the official one-off cheese shop Christmas special 1992 t-shirt on the back of which, please excuse me just for a moment, is everyone who's ever been on this stage for a stand-up at the cheese shop. There's one exclusion that was deliberate, we won't talk about him, and there is one typo, once again deliberate, see if you can pick that. They have to buy one to play that particular game and then to sail in the pool room for $22. A bargain, double stitching, Everywhere. Even bits you just don't want it. It's there. <laughs> so, um, we'd love to sell a few of those today. We are seriously too shit to look at break here, but it's just to um, celebrate the night. So if you fill up one of those, that's where they're for sale, and there's only a few, however many, and I'll probably sell out. Now, uh, that's that bit of business. The other bit of business is that we are going to dabble with a bit of a comedic experiment here this evening in that we will have self-comparing brackets. What this means is I won't be coming on to say that was, this is. I credit you with sufficient intelligence, collectively, as a cohesive unit, to assume that when someone says, well, that's about it for me, would you please welcome, you would take that as some sort of lead that they're probably finished, and the next person's probably about to come on, unless, of course, at the end of the bracket, in which case we stand there, just like you are now, for about 15 minutes. So don't fall for that one. If someone says it's the end of the bracket, get a drink. <laughs> Fine. Speaking of t-shirts, I don't know, can we, can we get a zoom in on this? Uh, I can't see too much. Yeah. Uh, that's as good as it gets. Anyway, trust me, the logo is gorgeous, okay? Back to White Shop, thank you, camera two. This is fun, isn't it? Listen, I'll tell you what we'll do. Anyone wants to play with this, that'll be ten bucks. <laughs> this is the last show for a while. We need the money. Um, Presents, tree, uh, a bit of a satanic reference at the top of the tree. Sorry, but we did have to cater for everyone there. So we've got pretty much the Christian roof, with the exception, of course, of the red-eyed beast. Uh, we chose him out of thousands. A lot of them still have meat on them, so we left those. Now, something else that has to be done, and I think I might have to get just a tad mobile for this. We have a shitload of balloons. But apart from that, now by the way, look, feel free, there you go. First one in the room, go ahead. Now, this is a proper grown-up tree. It, oh, look, no, hang on. No, bring it back. Bring it back. No, no look, if, you, if you're going to be immature about it, just get the bloody balloons here. Get back there. Now, this is your authentic 2.1 metre slimline Canadian oak. <laughs> manufactured in Taiwan, and underneath it are presents. Sadly, these are not for you. These are for the performers tonight who are giving their all for free to the two shop this evening, but we are giving them presents now. I'm told that there is one for me. This is going to get a bit of a drag, by the way, during the evening, because a performer on stage, in order to get the present, will have to find it, open it, and talk about it while they're on. Okay, and sadly, I'm the first, and fortunately, Janet has put them in order. And that says to Davy T from Santa. <laughs> now this is, there's going to be a lot of this noise, I'm sorry, but it's just the way it's going to go. If, if as an overall concept it does sort of fail, well, then we might just move on to something else. But geez, you wrapped them good. So please don't think I bought myself a present. This is my first present for Christmas 1992. And I think it's a lot of paper. No, hang on. 
It's a bag that says, I can ride a bike. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Thank you very much. I'll be putting it on very soon indeed, or possibly just leave it on the table. Who knows? There we go. Present beers. Now, um, there was uh, something, another bit of news just occurred to me uh, about this evening. Uh, that's kind of gone self conquering Perhaps we've done all that. Fine. We're celebrating a lot of things tonight. We are celebrating, obviously, the final cheer shop tonight. Now, just a matter of interest, who hasn't been going to stand up at the cheer shop before? Be honest, we won't stone you to death. A lot of you. Virgins! Okay. <laughs> well, when asked what the rest of us think about that, I think we've voiced our objections pretty plainly there. Well, um, enjoy. No, no, look, it's Christmas bugger. Well, for the cheer shop, good on you. Um, but, uh, so it is the final one of these for the year. We'll probably be back in February or something. Who knows? That's a, that's a year away. Far too far away to think about. Um, we are, of course, celebrating Christmas. Um, we're celebrating possibly the separation of, of Charles and Di. <laughs> if you think it's appropriate. What's the story there? Does it, does it affect anyone in this room at all? No, you won't. Then why, if it's that important, did, when, did we see John Major announce it on, on the tally in Parliament to, like, the world? Very, very serious was to announce it, and, Ed, Ed, and Edward Heath got up. Edward Heath, well, I used to have a bit of respect for once upon a time, don't know who it Edward Heath then got up and said, I think it was something like, well, that must surely be the most difficult announcement a Prime Minister has had to make this century. I don't know, I can think of one or two wars that might have been a bit hard to personally. But that's the British for you. Uh, and maybe it'll be an end of those photos, those things they put in the newspaper. Remember all the, all the photos of Diana looking sad? And, and captions that say, well, the picture tells a thousand words. Look, the sad princess, the fairy tale romance over. These photos were taken at fucking war memorials. It's not a good look to laugh at a war memorial. I don't know much about memorial etiquette, but I'm sure that ain't part of it. Anyway, so we're celebrating the end of that. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating the end. 1992. Get, just finish it. Get rid of it. Who has had a good time this year? One bloke. Hey, <laughs> you. Why? Why? Just why? What bit? What bit was fun? Oh, yeah, all right. They were okay. <laughs> no, but really, let's pretend that let's pretend that tonight is it's the it's December 31, 1992. And tomorrow's a whole new year. We're going to wake up sure we're a bit hungover. In fact, we'll still be here at the time. And it'll be a whole new year. Let's pretend that's that. We're going to celebrate tonight. And consequently, as you would expect when it is the end of the year, you might be looking back at the year that was. Well, that's a good excuse to get rid of some rope, isn't it, really? 